Hi guys, today I'm gonna show you how to make an aquarium tunnel. Next time we'll be adding all types of different sea creatures to it. Um, and today is really just about learning perspective for drawing your tunnel. Um, there is a step-by-step -step, uh, image guide I already posted in Google Classroom. Um, this video is going to be a little bit more detailed than that if you need um, a little bit more guidance. So to start, um, you're going to need something that has a flat straight edge. It could be a piece of cardboard if you don't have a ruler. Um, one place you can find cardboard is um, the back edge or the back page of a notebook. Um, or uh, if you have like an empty cereal box, you could use a cereal box for your straight edge as well. So to start, you're just going to make an X by connecting both of the edges of your box. I made mine a little bit smaller than my paper. Um, so it'd be easier to take a video of, but you go ahead and just use the corners of your paper. Now, once you have your X, you will draw lines that are horizontal coming from the bottom here. You're gonna start close to the middle of your X. You want these lines to be horizontal, so make sure you're straight across there and not slanted and you just want these lines to get a little bit further apart as you get closer to the bottom of your paper and you don't want to draw too many lines three or four is a good number I'm gonna stop right there at four um, the next thing I'm gonna do is add straight lines going up. Now these straight lines going up are going to be vertical and they're connecting um, the left side of your X here. And again, use your ruler to draw these lines going straight as you can, trying not to um, accidentally make them diagonal. You want them to be vertical, straight up and down. Once you have them drawn. Notice that all my lines are connecting to my horizontal line that I already drew. And we're going to do that on the other side too. So once you have it on one side, go ahead, draw them on the right side. And again, you want to make sure it's connecting to that horizontal line that you already drew that connects the bottom portion of your X that we started with. So I have kind of a hallway. I know it's hard to see so far, but once we add the floor, it'll be a little bit more clear. Um, now we're gonna add a curved line that connects um, both of my, um, uh, my X from the top now. Um, to do this curved line, just try your best to make it as even as possible. Um, this might help for you to start doing one side and then kind of turn your page and do the other side and then see if you can connect them. Um, and just try your best to keep this looking as round or circular as possible. But my last one is going to get kind of cropped off the top of my page there. Okay, now it's time to make your checkerboard um, like tile floor. So for this, we, we're going to need to remember the middle of our X. So I'm just going to put a dot there to remind me. And then we're going to kind of make five dots on the bottom of our drawing here. I'm going to do one right in the middle and then two on each side. So I want them to be equally distant from each other. That's equidistant, um, equally spaced. So I have five, one in the middle, and then two on each side, equally spaced. 
Now I'm going to connect those lines by lining up my straight edge. So I have my ruler touching the middle dot and the dot on the bottom. I'm going to connect those lines and I'm going to do that for all five of my lines. And I end up with these lines that are leading my eye to the middle of the page. This is our one point perspective here. Everything vanishes at that one point. Everything gets smaller when you get to that one point. Um, so now that I have that, it's gonna be time for me to start um, coloring it in um, to show my perspective. Um, you can just use um, any color that you want. Or, um, next time we're gonna be making this look like an aquarium. So maybe you wanna use a specific color um, that will look good in, a, in an aquarium. Or you could just use a Sharpie. Um, I'm going to ask you, whatever you use, make sure it's not something that's water soluble. That means you don't want to use a washable marker. Because the next time, if you have watercolor at home, watercolor might be a tool that you want to use to add your blue water and if you used a water soluble or a washable marker, it'll smudge when you go in to add um, that blue water. So you could use something like a Sharpie, you could use a crayon, you could use a colored pencil. Um, right now I'm just using my drawing pencil. Um, it, it, that really helps too because those spaces all the way in the back there are really small so it would be hard to get that colored in using anything else. Um, one thing that you might be able to use too is a ballpoint pen. Um, this has a really narrow tip so that will be an easy thing for you to color it in. Okay, so you're just gonna finish coloring these in once you have it all colored in, that I have a little bonus. Your bonus, if you wish to do it, you don't have to, is to make your tunnel look rounded on the sides as well. You totally don't have to, but I thought when I was done with my example, it would look really interesting. So I, w I did that to mine. Um, now, to do that, you already have some guidelines drawn. That's our vertical lines that we added. So you're just going to go ahead and kind of follow that curve that you'd made on the top. And you're going to continue as if it was a circle and come down to the bottom. And do that on both sides. Come down to that bottom edge there. And then you can erase that um, vertical line that we had there. And you can go ahead and do that to all of your vertical lines if you wish to. Again, don't have to, but just an idea. All right. So these drawings, you can take a picture of them and send them to me, but you don't have to. You can just wait and you can send in a finished with color and animals that we'll add next time. So this time you might not be submitting anything and that's okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and finish coloring my tiles here. And I can't wait to see what these end up looking like next time. All right, have fun with this, guys.